Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to get perfect orientation out of BNO055. That means no glitches in the orientation. The Euler data out of BNO055 are not accurate, nor my complementary filter output. I have encountered some problems in the orientation, such as rolling the device more than 135 degree, your direction shifts 180 degree. This was causing bone orientation problem in Unreal. Pitch angle more than 90 degree, roll angle changes 180 degree. Programmatically, such glitches can be fixed by using lot of e-fail statement. But I thought of learn the concept first and then apply the logic, which will be compiled in Unreal Engine or any other 3D game development platform. So far, I have managed to get my own PCBs and have integrated both PNO and Hoosa in it. Post this video, most complex part of the mockup suit will be completed. If you have not watched the previous video, please check the description below. You can also visit to my Patreon site to read the complete paper and download the source code. If you are new to this channel, please consider to give a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. Let us first understand how the orientation models are evaluated. To understand that, first I had to understand the measurement frames. That means current frame or body frame and reference frame. I used simple 2D use cases to understand it graphically. When I browsed the internet for the solution, I land up finding formulas like this or like this. But what are these? How difficult is to understand such formulas? And hence, I started to learn the formulas from basics. At first, let handle two-dimensional problem before jumping into three-dimensional problems. To do that, let's look at the formula of 2 by 2 matrix. Now, what is this matrix and what it represents and how to derive this? By the way, if you are not interested to go through this, you can skip and jump to the solution or Arduino code directly. Okay, to start with, let's look at the basic coordinates of X and Y in 2D plane. Normally, any point in 2D graph, we write it like x, y or to precise, let's say x0, y0. The value of the x0, y0 is 2, 1. That means x axis 2 units, y axis 1 unit. And the distance from the origin of this point is r, which will be always constant in our case because the point will be rotated against the center in circular path. Now the representation of the point normally we write in a bracket x0, y0. Such representation either in a bracket or within an angular bracket like x0, y0. Such point also can be written in a column format like this. The distance of the point from the origin will not impact the angle between the x-axis and the line drawn between origin to the point x0, y0. Let's call this angle theta. Now let's take this point and rotate anticlockwise to another sub-angle called phi. Let's consider the new point is x1, y1. r is the distance from the origin. Now our goal is to determine the new point based on the sub-angle and the previous point. To do that, let's first identify the value of x0, y0 in terms of theta and radius r. Let's create a right angle triangle from the point x0, y0. That means cos theta is equal to x0 by r and sin theta is equal to y0 by r. This implies x0 is equal to r cos theta and y0 is equal to r sin theta. So we got the values of x0 and y0 in terms of radius and angle. After rotation, the new subangle is phi and the coordinates are x1, y1. The total angle from x axis will be phi plus theta. Similar way, if we try to evaluate x1 and y1 values, then it will be x1 is equal to r cos theta plus phi and y1 is equal to r sin theta plus phi. Using the triag identities, the simplified values will be x1 is equal to r in a bracket cos theta cos phi minus sin theta sin phi. y1 is equal to r sin theta cos phi plus cos theta sin phi. From the previous equation of x0 and y0, we know x0 is equal to r cos theta, y0 is equal to r sin theta. That means the new expression would be x1 is equal to x0 cos phi minus y0 sin phi, y1 is equal to y0 cos phi plus x0 sin phi. 
Now let's rewrite these two expressions using 2 by 2 matrix like below. If we apply the multiplication, we will get top matrix's first attribute multiply with other top matrix's first attribute and then add bottom part multiplies with second attribute of the other matrix's top part. This signifies if we know one coordinate in the 2D plane and the rotational angle then based on the angle rotation we can derive the new coordinates or based on two coordinates which have equal distance from the origin we can evaluate the rotational angle. The distance of the points or the radius of the points doesn't make any impact to the calculation. Now let's look at a real example which is x0.0 are 2 1 and rotate anticlockwise by 90 degree. From the degree to radian conversion we know one revolution is 2 pi which is 360 degree. So 90 degree will be pi by 2. Therefore the 2D matrix will be based on the formula we have derived 0 1 minus 1 0 multiply by 2 1. Now if we do the arithmetic or apply the triag entity, the matrix will be 0 multiplied by 2 plus minus 1 multiplied by 1 and the bottom part will be 1 multiplied by 2 plus 0 multiplied by 1. So the new coordinate will be minus 1, 2. Now question is what is the relation of rotational matrix to determine the true pitch roll and yaw? To understand that, I had to understand quaternion. It is a bit difficult concept but with concentration and patience, this subject is easy to crack. A quaternion is a 4 dimensional vector represent as 1, 2, 3, 4. Previously in 2 by 2 rotation matrix, I have seen the point represent as 2, 1 in a bracket which was rotated 90 degree and we have got the next coordinate point which is minus 1, 2. In physics, we know a line of force or a momentum which is causing the angular acceleration. This is measured from gyroscope. If you have not watched my previous video on gyroscope and how gyroscopic data is used to measure the rotational angle, please check the description below. In that video, I have determined the rotational angle using gyroscope and applied complementary filter to determine the angle of rotation. There were some limitation in the angle evolution which was causing problem in terms of gimbal lock or long term stability. However, the evolution is correct for short term. The simple way to eliminate the problem is to estimate the rotational angle and determine the coordinates and use it to evaluate the next coordinate. By doing this, I will get most accurate orientation angle. Please note the word I used estimate the angle. The estimation of the angle is based on accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer values. Each estimation of the angle gives a coordinates which are represented as quaternion and each sensor quaternions are combined to evaluate new coordinates. There are some complex mathematics involved when quaternion are used to derive the next quaternion values. The common operations are dot products and cross products. A quaternion is a scalar and a vector. The first component represents as scalar and other three components are represented as i, j and k or in actual world x, y and z. These are imaginary components. By definition i square is equal to j square is equal to k square is equal to i, j, k is equal to minus 1. So how could we use a quaternion to express rotation? Euler angles gives three rotation in three different axes, but it does not give rotation in an arbitrary axis by single angle. In this case, we have a vector representing the direction and a scalar representing the angle of rotation about that axis. The actual representation of the rotation looks like this, where the Euler's formula is for complex explanation. The first part is real and rest are vector part. The vector u here or unit vector represents the direction in the axis where we want to rotate and theta is the amount of rotation. Now if we need to convert the quaternion to rotation matrix then we need to use such complex formulas or convert it to Euler we can use these formulas. There are a lot of complicated maths involved in it which I am not going it through now. Instead of that, I am giving you some useful link for you to go through. I learned a lot from these links. To implement that in Arduino, I have collected the quaternion data from the sensor and converted it to Euler. 
Here is the formula to convert the quaternion to Euler. BNO libraries give simple function to convert it to Euler. After conversion, now in Unreal, you can see the glitches are born and it is working perfectly as expected. On rolling the device more than 135 degree, your direction maintains the rotational angle to the perfect direction. On pitch angle more than 90 degree, roll angle maintains the corresponding rotational angle. Now if I try the same on human rigid body, I can see the correct bone orientation. Hand rotation behavior is smooth. Now here you can see my upper arm can go beyond 90 degree without changing the roll. Overall, the orientations are perfect and the movement body gestures are collected correctly. We are now one step closer to the completion. My next target is to estimate the position of the sensor in 3-axis plane so that on player work we can simulate the next position. This is very difficult because we only have one data point to estimate the new position or sensor displacement which is accelerometer. Accelerometer gives accelerations and it is very noisy. Let's skip that for the next video. The current PCB is little bigger so I had to redesign the PCB to make it smaller. Here is my new PCB in which you can see I had to incorporate the GPS as well which will help me to keep track of the exact location. In the next video I'll talk about the PCB design and the GPS integration. I believe after that it will be ready for any drone implementation. However, I need to figure out how to estimate the exact coordinate or displacement of the position using accelerometer. So far, I have achieved some accuracy, but complete accuracy, I need to work on that. On that note, I am finishing this video here. I hope you like the progress and the strategy of the development. A big thank you to my all patrons for supporting me. Please stay tuned for such interesting topic and the solution. Till then, stay safe and take care. Thank you for watching.